Here we're told to graph y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2. So the negative 2 is the y-intercept, and again, don't forget that that negative sign is part of it. So we plot a point at negative 2, and then the slope is negative 2 thirds. Well, if you think of the slope as the rise over the run, that's going to be negative 2 over 3. So the rise is negative 2. That means we go down 2 and then over 3, and that puts us here. You could also think of this as 2 over negative 3. The negative sign can be attached to either the numerator or the denominator. And if you had a slope of 2 over negative 3, that would be a rise of 2 and then a run of negative 3. And you can see that that's consistent with what we have. So we end up with a point there as well. And with those points, we can plot a line or draw in the line. And that's it. That is the line y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2. Now I'll also say something about what this means. Every single point on this line has an x and y value. And those x and y values, if put into this original equation, will satisfy this equation, will work. Like this point right here, for example, is the point 0 comma negative 2. So x is 0 and y is negative 2. And if we put in a 0 for x and a negative 2 for y, this equation ends up being true. And that is true for any point on this line. Every single point, this point right here, for example, that point has an x and y value. And if you were to take the x and y value and put it in for x and y, put those values in, the resulting mathematical statement would be a true statement. And all the points on this line satisfy this equation. And any point not on the line doesn't satisfy the equation. That's what, it, that's what it means for this equation to be the equation of this line. Every single point on that line is a solution to the equation. Or in other words, every single point on the line, on the line has x and y values which are solutions to, which constitute a solution to the equation.